How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be breaking down my predictions and who I think will win, who I want to win uh, for the upcoming Oscars. The Oscars are just under one week away uh, this Sunday coming up. So let's get into it. I'm going to break down some of the major categories and a couple of the smaller categories that not a whole lot of people uh, will talk about. Not, not, I'm not going to do the sound mixing and sound editing. Not that those are bad categories, just that the average viewer doesn't necessarily care about those ones as much as, uh, as they probably should. So anyway, so let's get into it right now. So the nominees for Best Visual Effects are Rogue One, Deepwater Horizon, Doctor Strange, The Jungle Book, and Kubo and the Two Strings. Now for this category, the easy pick, and I think it's going to easily win it, is going to be The Jungle Book. Had The Jungle Book not been in there, uh, I might have said a Doctor Strange is watching that, like the, the the way they bend the buildings and everything like that, it's pretty impressive. But I'd have to go with The Jungle Book, it just it, it's revolutionary in the visual effects game, and I think hands down, hands down, without a question, if it doesn't win, it'll be the biggest upset, I think, of this year by far. Also, a uh, shout out to Deepwater Horizon in there. I didn't really think of that like, oh, best visual effects, but everything seems so realistic and seamless that I understand it getting a nomination. Like I said, this one is the Jungle Books to lose. And now we're just going to do best film editing because I am an editor and I kind of appreciate this award a little bit more than I maybe used to after going to, uh, to school for it and everything like that. So nominees for best film editing are La La Land, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, Moonlight, and Arrival. Now, this one's more of a tough category to predict, I think, um, last year I think it was a little easier because uh, Mad Max Fury Road came out and that swept pretty much all the technical categories. So my vote for what I want to win and what I think will win is going to be La La Land. I, I think La La Land, the, the editing is impressive, the seamless, everything looks like it's in one take for a lot of the musical numbers and there are cuts in there if you really want to look for it. But the thing is they're so seamless that you don't really even notice them first watch through. Uh, it's impressive uh, and I think it, again, La La Land has got this one I think. Uh, there's an outside shot. I think Hacksaw Rich has a shot at it because of the frantic action of it. Uh, Arrival, the pacing of that is, is really well done as well. Like, they, they all are worthy nominations, but I think La La Land's got this one. Now on to Best Cinematography, and the nominees are Moonlight, Silence, Lion, La La Land, and Arrival. For this one, I think it's between Arrival and La La Land for this one, but again, I'm, I think La La Land's going to do really well this year, and I think La La Land is going to win it. And what I, what I would want to win... Oh, I, I would vote for Arrival myself. I would vote for Arrival. It's my favorite movie of the year. I think just the sweeping shots um, are so wonderful to look at. Bradford Young, I believe, is a cinematographer, and he's does a fantastic job. And I think he's doing the upcoming Han Solo spinoff movie. Don't quote me on that, but I think he might be. Uh, but yeah, he's a fantastic cinematographer. I would vote for him, but I think La La Land is going to get the win. Now on to Best Adapted Screenplay, and the nominees are Arrival, Lion, Hidden Figures, Moonlight, and Fences. I think for this one, it's got to be Moonlight. Moonlight, it's, it's my prediction for and what I would vote for as well. Uh, I think Moonlight has got this one. It's it's probably between that. Once I get to Best Picture, I think Moonlight's one of the front contenders for Best Picture. And uh, I, yeah, I, I believe Moonlight will get the victory on this one. I mean, there's an outside shot to maybe Fences because it's adapted. The, the, the whole thing is basically based on that script for Fences. It's a fantastic script. Uh, but I think Moonlight has got this one. Even though Arrival was my favorite movie of the year, I don't think it's going to win Best Adapted Screenplay. Lion also, I, I really love Lion as well. Uh, if you haven't seen Lion, watch that. Uh, I don't think as many people have seen Lion, and you should. But like I said, Moonlight, I think it's gotten one. So nominees for Best Original Score are La La Land, Jackie, Lion, Passengers, and Moonlight. And seeing as it's a musical kind of category, I think La La Land will get the win. It's been winning at all the other awards for best score, and I think this is just another one on the belt of La La Land. Uh, it's, again, it's gonna be my pick for the win as well. I believe it should win, and uh, yeah, La La Land. I mean, it, it went in doubt if you're doing an Oscar pool, I think La La Land, as much as you say, there, I know there's a bit of back, well, not a big backlash, but people are just like, it's a popular thing, so people wanna hate it. Um, I think La, La don't, but if you're trying to win money, just trying to win money or something like that, La La Land is a safe bet when in doubt. The nominees for best original song are City of the Stars from La La Land, Audition from La La Land, The Empty Chair, How Far I'll Go from Moana, and Can't Stop the Feeling from Trolls. This is my biggest upset category because it shouldn't be any of these people winning. It should be Drive It Like You Sold from Sing Street winning this thing. I don't know how this thing got did not get nominated. This song is so catchy and so great. It's it's baffling to me how it did not get nominated. With all that said, uh, this is a tough. This is a tough one to pick. Like, what's your favorite and what will win? I think City of Stars will win. Uh, my vote. I personally, I think I like Audition a little bit more than City of Stars, even from La La Land. 
but How Far I'll Go from Moana is a great song as well. Can't stop the feeling I got overplayed, so I'm not a huge fan of that one as much anymore. But I think my vote, I think I would pick How Far I'll Go from Moana. It's a very catchy tune, but like I said, it should be Drive Like He Sold It from Sing Street. The nominees for Best Original Screenplay are La La Land, Hell or High Water, The Lobster, Manchester by the Sea, and 20th Century Women. So I think the one that's going to end up winning is going to be La La Land again. But my pick would be Manchester by the Sea. I think Manchester by the Sea script is fantastic. It's so realistic, the dialogue. You feel like you're just listening in on real-life conversations in that one. Uh, so definitely, I think Manchester by the Sea would be my pick. And I think it does have a shot to win. I think, again, I'm just picking the safe bet in La La Land, but will win. But I would vote for Manchester by the Sea. So if you feel like taking a chance on your Oscar Bulls, try maybe Manchester by the Sea, because I think you could score a big upset win. Nominees for Best Animated Film are Moana, Zootopia, My Life as a Zucchini, The Red Turtle, and Kubo and the Two Strings. So just judging off all the past wins that have been happening lately, I think Zootopia is going to continue its win streak and win this one. Uh, personally, I would vote for Kubo and the Two Strings. I think it's very unique. It's very original. Uh, not that Zootopia isn't original, but I'm just saying like the stop motion animation style doesn't get as much credit, and the amount of work that actually goes into making those movies is it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I think Zootopia is going to continue that win streak and probably sneak out the win. The nominees for Best Supporting Actor are Michael Shannon from Nocturnal Animals, Mahershala Ali from Moonlight, Jeff Bridges from Hell or High Water, Dev Patel from Lion, and Lucas Hedges from Manchester by the Sea. This is a tough, tough category. Very tough. Um, but I think that what is will win will be Mahershala Ali, and I think he would even get my vote as well. I mean, all the performances in here are great, but what he brings to Moonlight is is pretty fantastic for the amount of small screen time that he gets. Dev Patel is weird that he's in this category. That's a different conversation for a different time, though. But I think it will have to go to Mahershala Ali, and that would be my vote as well. Another good one, Lucas Hedges. He was great, great up-and-coming actor. And, uh, but yeah, Mahershala Ali, you get the award. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress are Naomi Harris for Moonlight, Michelle Williams, Manchester by the Sea, Viola Davis for Fences, Octavia Spencer, Hidden Figures, and Nicole Kidman for Lion. When I saw Manchester by the Sea, I'm like, Michelle Williams has got this. She, it's pretty much her, she's, she's got the award. Having said that, and seeing Fences now, I think Viola Davis will probably get this award, and she's been winning everything else. I think she will get the win. And not that Michelle Williams was bad in it, but you saw that. You've probably seen the trailer. You've seen the, the snot scene with Viola Davis. She gives a fantastic performance, and she hasn't won yet. Uh, I think this is her time to uh, get that first Academy Award. The nominees for Best Director are Mel Gibson, Hacksaw Ridge, Barry Jenkins, Moonlight, Kenneth Lonergan, Manchester by the Sea, Denis Villeneuve for Arrival, and Damien Chazelle, La La Land. Now again, when in doubt, vote La La Land, and I think Damien Chazelle's got this one. He First first movie was great with Whiplash, and his second movie is just as good with La La Land. Uh, I think the direction of this thing is, is fantastic, it's beautiful to look at. Uh, again, that leads into editing and cinematography all it together. It creates a great movie, and I think Damien Chazelle's direction was on point. I think he will win, and he would be my vote too. And as much as I love, as much as I love Denis Villeneuve for Arrival, uh, I think this one is going to be Chazelle's. Nominees for Best Actress are Emma Stone, La La Land, Isabelle Huppert for Elle, Meryl Streep, Florence Foster Jenkins, Ruth Nega Loving, and Natalie Portman for Jackie. This one is it's very hard to call. I, It's almost like coin toss. I think it's going to be between Natalie Portman and Emma Stone. I mean, never count Meryl Streep out, but I don't think that was her best performance. I don't know really why she's in there. I think Amy Adams for Rival should have been in there. Um, but man, this is tough. This one is very tough. And Natalie Portman and Jackie, she becomes Jackie O. She, she is Jackie Kennedy. If her performance doesn't work in the movie, the movie falls apart. That being said, Emma Stone was, shows every emotion in La La Land. She goes from happy to sad to worried to scared to... She shows everything. It's her best performance of her career by far. Oh, man, this, this, is, this is tough. I'm going to pick Emma Stone for the win, and I think I would vote for... I'd vote for Emma Stone as well. Just sneaking out. I didn't love Jackie as much as other people did, uh, so that kind of factors into it a little bit. Uh, yeah, Emma Stone, I think she will get the win, and I think she she should win as well. So, But again, this is this is very, very difficult. Ruth Nega was great and loving as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a very difficult, difficult category. And even Isabelle Huppert, who won the Golden Globe, I don't think she will win the Oscar, but she was great now. I watched that recently, and uh, if you haven't seen that, give it a shot. It's a very uh, 
the premise isn't for everybody. You can read up on the premise before you watch it, but uh, if you do watch it, I think you'll appreciate Isabel Huppert's uh, performance in this movie. Nominees for Best Actor are Andrew Garfield, Hacksaw Ridge, Ryan Gosling for La La Land, Denzel Washington for Fences, Casey Affleck, Manchester by the Sea, and Viggo Mortensen for Captain Fantastic. Before I get into it, I just want to say Viggo Mortensen and Captain Fantastic should be getting more credit. I recently saw that movie. He was great. Great in this movie. Unfortunately, I believe it is going to be between, not unfortunately, but I think it will be between Casey Affleck and Denzel Washington. This is really difficult because Denzel Washington recently won the SAG Award, uh, and that's a good indicator of who's going to go on to win the Oscar. They, they're pretty solid with the acting categories. So that's what gives me a pause for thoughts. Like, I was going Casey Affleck. My vote would personally be for Casey Affleck. But don't count Denzel out. I'm going to pick Casey Affleck for both. He will win, and he should win. But Denzel very well could. I think this is going to be one of those rare instances where the SAG doesn't match up with the Oscar. But don't be surprised if Denzel comes away with the award. And finally, the nominees for Best Picture are La La Land, Arrival, Lion, Hell or High Water, Hidden Figures, Moonlight, Hacksaw Ridge, Manchester by the Sea, and Fences. My pick, of course, would be Arrival. It was my favorite movie of the year. I would vote for Arrival. That being said, it's got it's La La Land. La La Land's gonna win it. Um, but if you want to, if you're going like, no, I think it's gonna be an upset. Go with Moonlight though. Moonlight, I believe, it's gonna be between La La Land and Moonlight for the win. I think La La Land will get the win. It's winning everything. And if you count together like all the categories that make a movie, like your sound editing, your mixing, your music, your acting, your uh, direction, your cinematography. I think La La Land has the best mix of all of those, and that's what I feel should encompass Best Picture. Um, so yeah, La La Land, I believe, will get the win. Outside shots of Moonlight, my personal favorite is Arrival, but yeah, I think La La Land is the safe bet, and again, when you're in doubt this year, voting for things. La La Land leads in nominations. I think it tied the record, so vote for La La Land if you're trying to win some money. Anyways, let me know your predictions in the comment section below. Let me know maybe the uh, predictions for some of the other ones that I didn't go over. Uh, I know it's kind of a longer video, but again, let me know your thoughts on who you think and who you should win and who you will win. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all later.